We are just getting some more Maple Story gaming in. I have it at well 1080p and I have it set to 10 watts and I have the frame cap to 40 FPS. So right now it's um, only using 8 watts on the APU and then it's getting about less than 13 total TDP usage and I figured I would just show you an area where there's a little bit more stuff happening on the screen. I haven't got high enough level yet to where I can get like a lot of things on the screen but I'm doing the 0 to 100 leveling quest zone just so I could get some more mobs on the screen but yeah it doesn't it doesn't I mean I have it set to 40 FPS I can set it to 120 but then it will just take the full 10 watts so I, I've noticed if I set it to 40 FPS um, the game is smooth and it only takes about 8 watts even though I have it set to 10 watts so I think I just got to level 30 so let me go talk to this guy so he can send me to the next zone I want to move to the next hunting zone. That's the only thing. I tried um, setting the the magnification in Windows to like 175% to see if it would make the UI any bigger, but um, it doesn't affect the in-game UI. And this is as big as the UI gets in the game. So as you can see, if I'm playing in hand, um, it's not so bad because I can, as you just saw, pull the screen towards my face and get a better uh, view of things. But if I'm like making a video like this, the UI is so small that I can't read the text. And I am playing the dual blade character just because out of all the characters that I saw listed, this was the only one that I really remembered from playing back in the day. So I figured I would just play the same one. But the game is fun and the music, I like the music. Probably the next game I'll try on here is um, like Red Dead Redemption. Some people were asking if I could try more AAA games, which I mean I feel like Call of Duty is a AAA game, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's not designed to be run on the the most demanding of, of hardware. But yeah, I'm gonna try like Red Dead or something. Even though that's kind of an older game, but okay, I don't know what's going on right now with this pop up. But yeah, it's still not going above 8 watts TDP on the APU, even though I have it set to 10. And it's getting, yeah, 12, 13, under 13 watts of... Total power usage on the system. I'm at 82% battery. I have the screen brightness at 80%. The volume is at 50%. And then I have the, I do have the backlit keyboard on right now, not that it needs to be, but I was actually playing this in hand and then I figured I'd make a little video showing how the game runs when there, when there is more stuff on the screen. Sorry if I wasn't giving you the best camera angle this whole time, I just looked down at the camera and saw it was pointing kind of upwards. But yeah, like right now I have some stat points to put into my to my next level, but just because I don't want to open the menu because I can't I can't see the uh, the menu from this far since I'm recording on video. But like if I was playing in hand, um, it wouldn't be that big of an issue. I would just be able to pull the screen closer to my face and get a be able to read the text and stuff. But that's the one thing I, I don't know if there's a way to make the the UI any bigger. 
Um, one thing that I may try doing next is just putting the 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 Win Mini uh, resolution to 720 to see if full screen 720 would make the the UI elements any bigger. But other than that, I mean, the game is really fun and, and it is not it's not a hogging the battery at all. I mean, you could probably play this at 10 watts, getting 13 watt total TDP for four hours around there, close to it. So, it's pretty fun. Um, I do have a health and, yeah, health and mana potion right there, okay. That's the first time I've had to use them. Yeah, I'm just leveling, trying to get to level 100 right now with this uh, Star Quest 0 to 100. Uh, let's see, there's like an orb over here. I don't know if that's an experience orb or. I'm just going to pick it up. There you go. Yeah, experience. I think I had opened a menu or something on accident and then my my clicks were not were not clicking when I was trying to use my health potion. So that's unfortunate. So now I believe when you die you get like a experience penalty. But I guess it won't really matter that much since I'm in this like extra experience area. Yeah, we'll just keep going until I get to level 100, and then, as far as I understand, the big bosses where you'll really have a lot of things on screen um, comes after level 200. But um, I mean, obviously, the game the game is not hard to run, so I'm still only running at 8 watt TDP on the APU, and I do have a set to 10, so it can grab more if it needs to, but it just doesn't need it. Wrong way. Hmm. Yeah, some I keep pressing some kind of button that's bringing up a menu that then I lose control. So maybe that's just because the keys are, are so small and my fingers are fat for these keys. I mean, this is small keys, so anybody's fingers would be fat for them. But I maybe keep accidentally misclicking and opening some kind of menu. And then when I'm trying to use like the buttons to either attack or use my health potions, I'm accidentally not I'm not able to use them because it thinks I'm trying to be inside of a menu. So I guess that that's probably a user error issue. Or I need to stop hitting the wrong key. I need to get good. Oh, you see, that's what it is. I keep pressing, when I press the up, when I press up on the the directional keys, I keep pressing the enter key and, and then getting into the chat. And then when I try to press one or two to use my potions, I'm typing them in the chat. So, user error. But when I do play it in hand, I, I play it actually, I actually play it like this. So... I play it with the D-pad and with the A, B, X, Y buttons. I've just mapped them. The, the D-pad, I've mapped it to the directional keys. And then the A, B, X, and Y. A is my main attack. Y is my main 
attack that uses mana, and then B is my movement, and then I think I just put X to spacebar because that's how you interact with the NPCs, like do the dialogues. But yeah, this is how I, this is how I normally play in hand. Yeah, this whole time it has not gone above 8 watts um, that I've seen. Perhaps on the video you'll be able to see better because, I mean, I'm paying attention to the gameplay. But I haven't seen it go above 8 watts TVP on the APU. So, pretty solid. Just 13 watts total power usage playing this game. And I don't think, um, I mean, maybe if there's more characters on the screen, I still don't think I'd have to set it above 10 watts to be able to play this. So pretty good on battery life. You'd be able to play this for like four hours at least. The music is nostalgic and good. <laughs> 